um, you know, last one I accidentally left it recording and I didn't realize it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, to actually modify some of these things, you really need to convert them to like an editable mesh or poly. So we'll convert it to <coughs> editable poly. Um, I don't know what you do to get the uh, oops. Let's see. Control. You know, select. Anyway, it allows you to, you know, kind of extrude it out of the surface, you know, with the gizmo here. And I guess that would be a, you know, okay, that's a free move, just like Rhino. Um, that's a shift, uh, you know, shifting it along. <clears throat> but, you know, as far as how your various commands work, that's sort of what's going on there. Um, you know, I can just set it to extrude. Oops. <clears throat> you know, that it kind of works exactly like Rhino, because in that other one, just simply moving it. Um, but, you know, you can do a bevel extrusion like that and um, set it to extrude. Not as efficient as Rhino. I don't know why the hell I get constrained like this. Oh, it's because I'm holding shift. <laughs> anyway, I've got a bad habit of doing that. If you hold shift, it constrains it that way, apparently. And if you hold it, um, control, it doesn't do anything. And if you just don't hold any button and doesn't do anything. Um, so, anyway, you know, what's good about it is at least you can actually remove your panel if you want to, you know, and leave it free floating outside of your program, you know, just like this. So I can make it wider, you know, because I mean, it's just so sophisticated, you know, all these different all this different shit that you can select, you know, it's unbelievable, you know, and, um, you know, but like I said, I mean, you know, we're just not even see, seeing anywhere near everything, you know, a lot of this stuff's collapsed, but, you know, it's too hard to use this stupid scroll bar, because, you know, you often, you know, this is the only way to do it, you know, oh, well, that does work with the mouse, it didn't before. But, um, you know, I was going to say, often, you know, if you try to use that, you end up uh, hitting a button you don't mean to hit. Um, but again, I, I guess if you, you know, expanded it, you know, it'll reorganize itself, you know, but, um, you know, but like I said, it makes more sense. You know, of course, for the training videos, I can't do that, though. <laughs> But, you know, it makes more sense to work with this, you know, uh, as a floating tool palette because it's just so sophisticated. Um, you know, it's about the only practical way to work with this program, you know. Um, like I said, it's nice to have two monitors. And I guess I could try to extend the display over to the other monitor, but, um, but that'll make bigger videos. So anyway, you know, what's interesting about these is that, you know, now that I see it in expanded view, you know, I'm realizing that a lot of these toolbars are actually the same, you know, for all of these, but not all of them. You know, well, like I said, this toolbar here, for example, seems to be the same. No matter which one of these, uh, I select its position changes a little bit, but it's really the same toolbar, just like this one's always the same. Um, now, I don't know about the subdivision thing. And it looks the same, too. And, you know, vertex properties, probably different, I would imagine. Yeah, you yeah, know, that's different. You know, I first noticed that this 
you know, the soft selection seems to be the same in all these, you know, as well as the pane that I'm clicking on right now, you know, this right here doesn't change, but really this, this does change between these, uh, and this, this repeat last, um, does, does change. So the repeat last changes as well a little bit. As far as I don't have this, is some general toolbar then. But you know, you can see these numbers, whatever this is. You know, that seems to be the same, uh, but it's not available in every selection mode. But, you know, those last two, it's it's there, but it, it doesn't change between the two. Um, you know, I guess I can't drag those off. You know, I can ostensibly change their position, though. 